hello everyone and welcome to the channel i am abhijit and today in this video i will explain you how to add and remove opportunity team members in salesforce with the help of data loader so before explaining you about the process of adding and removing the opportunity team members via the data loader i would like to introduce our recently launched salesforce admin course so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early words so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this code you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our topic so in salesforce the opportunity team members is a team of the user that is assigned to an opportunity record to handle it and while adding an opportunity team members in the opportunity record both an opportunity member and opportunity share record is automatically created and the opportunity share record is created based on the opportunity access that is selected when the team member is added via the opportunity team member page so in this video tutorial we will learn the process of adding or removing the opportunity team members via the salesforce data loader tool so let's move ahead and see the process so right now i have logged into my salesforce console and in order to add or remove the opportunity team members first we need to manage the sharing settings of the opportunity object and for that navigate to the setup page of salesforce and in the quick find box search for the sharing settings then from the option select sharing settings and here make sure that the default internal access of the opportunity object is private and if it is not private then you have to click on this edit button and from here you can change the status from public read only and the public read write access to the private if you don't change this default access to private it will give you error while importing or adding the users as the team members and here we have to click on the save to apply the settings so first we are going to see the process of adding the opportunity team members with the help of data loader and for that we first need to prepare a csv file that will be used in importing the data so i will create a csv file with the headings opportunity id so here we have created the csv file with the header columns opportunity id user id team team member role and the opportunity access level so in the opportunity id we have so in the opportunity id we need the id of the opportunity in which we are going to add the team members and for that again we will go back to the salesforce console so in the salesforce console navigate to the opportunity tab from the app launcher and here click on the opportunity tab and in the opportunity tab select the opportunity record in which you want to add the team members so for that i will select this record that i am having in my org alfred chemical and uh, from and from here you can get this 15 digit code starting from 00 and copy this code from here and then paste in and then paste it in the csv file that we have created right now and i will keep this opportunity id same for all the records because uh, because i will add the team members to a simple opportunity record and to get the user id it will be better to run a data export from the data loader and for that i have opened my data loader tool and here i will click on the export button and after this i will log in with my credentials and after logging into the data loader in the second step we will select the data object user and then select the location and the name of the file in which we will extract the data of the users and then click on the next button and in this step we have to select the query fields so here we need the user ids only so i will select the field id and for the reference i will select the name field and after selecting the query fields click on this finish button so now the data is extracted and here we will click on the button view extraction to view this data in the external csv file and from here we will get the ids of the users that we want to assign in this opportunity as a team member so here i will get the id of these users and here i will paste the id that i copied from the extracted data and in the team role header column we have to enter the team roles that will be assigned to the users that we are adding as a team member 
so if you don't have any idea regarding the team member role then you can go to the salesforce console so to get the roles for the opportunity team members go to the setup page and in the quick find box search for the roles and from the options in the drop down select team roles so in the team role setup window you can see the roles that you can assign to the users and you have to manually enter these roles that you are going to assign to the team members so now i have entered the team member role and in the last we have to enter the opportunity access level and here you have three options that either you give read access edit access or you can give the both read and edit access so here i will give the edit access for all the opportunity team members and after this save this csv file in your system from where it can be accessed to the data loader so the csv file is prepared and after this i will again open the data loader and now in the data loader we will perform an insert operation to add the opportunity team members so now in the data loader i will click on this insert button and in this step uh, activate this checkbox show all salesforce object and then search and select the data object opportunity team members and now browse the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and display the number of rows in the csv file and here click on the ok button to proceed so now in this step we have to create the mapping between the csv header column and the object field names so for that click on this button create or edit map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to columns and in case any of the object field is not auto match then you have to drag and drop the object field to the column mapping and after the mapping click on the ok button then click on next and in this step select the location for the errors and the success files from where they can be accessed later so at last click on the finish button and now the data insertion will start and after its completion we will get the number of success and errors occur in the data operation and here in the dialog box we can see the four successful insert with zero errors that means we have successfully added the team members to the opportunity record and from clicking the view success button you can see the status of the newly created members so these are the users that we have successfully added as a team members to this opportunity record and we can also check from the opportunity record in which we have added the team members so this is the opportunity in which we have added the team members so in the opportunity record scroll down to the section opportunity team members and in the section opportunity team you can see the users that we have added as a team members for this record so this is how we add the users as a team member for a opportunity record with the help of the data loader and now we will see the process of removing the opportunity team members from an opportunity record and for that again i will open the data loader tool and here we will first run an export operation to get the data of the all opportunity records with their team members record and for that i will click on this button so now i will click on the export button and after this activate this checkbox show all salesforce object and then search and select the data object opportunity team members and after this select the location for the extract file and then click on the next button and in this step we need the id of the opportunity team members and also the opportunity id and for the reference i will select the query field name and we can also add the condition filter here for example you want to remove the opportunity team members from an specific opportunity and for that what you can do is in the field opportunity for that what you can do in the field enter the value as opportunity id and in the value enter the id of the opportunity from which you want to remove the team members and after adding the value click on the button add condition then the then the query will look like that it will select the id opportunity id and the name where the opportunity id will be as we have mentioned in this value and at last click on the finish button so now we have got the extracted data of the opportunity team members in which we want to remove or delete the opportunity team members and here i will remove the records of the team members that i don't want to remove so these are the team members that i want to remove from this opportunity record and now i will save this csv file in my system from where it can be accessed to the data loader and now again we need to open the data loader and here this time we will run a data delete operation and for that click on this delete button then here again click on this show all salesforce object checkbox and then search and select opportunity team members 
and now select the csv file that we have created here right now to delete the team members and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as we click on the next the data loader will initialize the csv file and display the number of rows here click on the ok button to proceed and in this step we will do the mapping and for that click on the button create or edit a map so in the delete operations we only need to match the id column so either you can click on the auto match field to columns button or you can simply drag the id field to this column mapping and then click on the ok button then click on the next and at last click on the finish button so records are being deleted from the opportunity record and from here we can see the status of the deleted records and in the status column you can see that the opportunity team members is deleted and when we delete a team member from an opportunity record it doesn't mean that it will delete the user from the org it is just that it will remove that user access to that opportunity as a team member and you can also check this in the opportunity record from which you have removed the opportunity team members so in the section opportunity team you will see that there are only two members so in this way we can remove the opportunity team members with the help of data loader so that was all about adding and removing the opportunity team members with the help of the salesforce data loader and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get the regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye